Cross and Dr. Green, you are required in the Anomalous Material Operations Center. Doctor, Doctor, looks like you two are right on time today. I'm afraid there's been some trouble with the system, so you may have been deleted from the security database. If you follow me to the door, I can get you inside where you can straighten it all out. So I guess today is the big day, huh? The big guy was pretty excited when he came in earlier. He was talking about the new guy, Dr. Freeman. I just hope everything goes well today. All right, this should only take a second. Good morning. They're waiting for you in the control room. Oh, I'll get the door for you. They should be able to get you back to the security database in the next room. Greetings. It looks as though your data was lost in the system failure this morning. Not to worry. I can re-register you at this station. Step into the booth one at a time, and I'll start the procedure. Please be still during the procedure. Don't worry, Dr. Cross. It should only take a few moments. scan for re-registration into the security database. It will be over before you know it, Dr. Green. Let me get that door for you. Someone is on time today. Dr. Freeman is running late. Again. Honestly, I do not understand what kind of season that boy. Anyway, let's get started. When Dr. Freeman is ready upstairs, they'll want to get the experiment, so you'll need to retrieve the sample, Dr. Cross. And I'll let Dr. Green into the test chamber. Dr. Keller! Make... Ah, uh, hello, Dr. Rosenberg. We're sort of in the middle of something right now. I've been talking to Harold. He seems to be under the impression that you're planning on running the anti-mass spectrometer at greater than 90%. You realize there is a reason for the safety buffer. I understand your concern, Doctor, but the administrator was quite clear. The administrator is a bureaucrat, not a scientist. I did not design this equipment to be run at such high intensity. This is not your decision. Now, if you wish to stay and monitor the experiment, so be it. Otherwise, you can go back to your little labs over by the train yard. Dr. Cross, the sample storage area is through the door here. And Dr. Green, we need you in the test chamber. We'll monitor the experiment from here. Dr. Cross, access granted. see you. If you would be so kind as to push the sample into the lift, we can start the experiment.
interesting. That shouldn't happen. You know, theoretically, this is impossible. Something must be jammed. See if there's anything interfering with the lift machinery in the test chamber below. I'll continue trying to operate the lift from here.
Thank goodness you've survived. Those HEV suits of yours are well designed, Dr. Cross. Doctors, we have formulated a plan. You must escort Rosenberg to the surface. Help him call for help. I couldn't possibly make it in my chair. I'll stay behind and assess the damage to our equipment and the extent of the cascade. Maybe I can find a clue as to what went wrong and how we can write I things. don't like the idea of leaving you here, but it seems we have no choice. Let me activate the service lift. There's a shortcut to the training area that will get you to the surface. Good luck. Despite what Dr. Keller believes, our only concern now should be for the people trapped inside Black Mesa. We need to get to the surface to reach the satellite communication equipment. Once they know what's going on, I'm confident they'll immediately send the military in to rescue us. There's an elevator nearby that will take us up to where we need to go. Follow me. We will combine skills. You will need to jump, duck, You'll have to hit every target in order to complete the course. But if you miss the first time, don't worry. It will come around again. Try to reload during pauses rather than waiting to run out of ammunition at a critical time. Commencing sequence in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 
Congratulations, you have completed the Black Mesa target range. Please advance to the next... Careful. As long as those sentry guns are active, it's suicide to go out there. But it is the only way to the surface. You're going to have to destroy them. should be able to open this door. We made it! Now at the end of this tunnel is an access shaft that leads right to the surface. From there we'll be able to reach the satellite communication center and call for help. Good work. I couldn't have gotten here without you. Let's go. Hours, 
Now that we've made it to the surface, we can get help. If we're quick enough, the people below may have a chance. Behind this fence is a satellite communication center we can use to communicate with military personnel outside of Black Mesa. The military has the best chance of being able to secure the facility, and they'll be able to escort us to safety. Let's go. Inside is the control room for the satellite dish, but this door is locked. If you can find a way into that warehouse, you should be able to make your way around to the other side of this door to let me in. I'll wait here. The way is too dangerous for me, but you'll be protected by the hazard suits.
you made it. The control room is just up the stairs. Quick, come with me. From here we'll be able to contact the military, but it appears the satellite dish is not aligned. One of you needs to go down and rotate the dish. The instruments in this room will tell us when the dish is positioned correctly. Excellent. We should now have a working uplink. I'll test it. Dr. Keller, Dr. Keller, do you read me? We've established the uplink and are transmitting the emergency signal. Good work, but there's no time to wait for the military. I need the team down here immediately. The dampening fields are going critical and must be reset. I understand. I'll send them down. Out. Listen, I can wait here for the military to arrive, but you're needed to help with the situation down below or others will be put in peril. You've done your job here. Now get below and reach Dr. Keller. Be careful, both of you. Hopefully I'll see you on the outside. Reset the dampening field, you'll have to reset the dampening locks manually. There are two secondary locks and one primary one. The dampening conduits are massive, so finding the locks shouldn't be hard. Now, you'll have to reset the secondary locks first. Only the primary conduit is strong enough to support a full flow, and I honestly can't guarantee it will Let's see how the area is hooked up. Ah. I can use this console to transmit directly to your suit's audio system. Let's try it out. Hmm. Test. Testing. Excellent. I'll be able to communicate with you anywhere in the facility. Be wary, my friends. Resetting the locks will probably put quite a strain in pressure release valves, and they may cause increased displacement activity.
think something is interfering from the other side of the rift. see if I can access the transit system and bring a working tram to us. I'm afraid whatever held the rift open did so with intent, my friend. These aliens may not all be here by accident. The potential rift between here and the alien world must be sealed. We'll need to have the satellite in order to Unfortunately, the delivery rocket cannot launch without the all-clear codes. Now, any security guard in this dorm complex should have the codes we need. Go to the dorms and find the security guard. I'll take the tram around to the north side where we can pick you up. Good luck. Foolishness, get in there and find a guard. See you on the other side. Access Soldiers everywhere. They're killing everyone.
of civilian resistance. Target has been... station. Let's go. The orange in that suit really brings out your eyes. Glad to see you're still alive. But our mission isn't complete. I presume you've got the all-clear codes for the satellite delivery rocket? Sure do. You got a plan? Yes. Once the satellite is in orbit, we can orchestrate a resonance reversal that may seal the rift between Earth and the alien world. It's a flattering HEV suit you got there, if you don't mind my saying so. Colette, are you receiving me? We've made it to Gamma Lab. The displacement beacon we need to perform a resonance reversal is near your position. We need to raise the beacon in order to use it. I can't seem to do it from here, and the maintenance hatch to the basement controls is locked. You'll have to raise the beacon manually. Find me, and I'll contact you again.
quickly as we're running out of time. The beacon lift must be jammed because the surface seal won't open. Clear the obstruction and then use the controls to raise the beacon. Try to keep it in one piece. tells me that the displacement beacon is up and in working order. Good job. Come upstairs to Gamma Labs. We haven't much time. Up those stairs you can access the alien quarantine labs. I fear that the scientists working there may have been overcome by the very creatures they were studying. We need you to get inside those labs and activate a beam matrix which powers the displacement beacon. You won't find much help in activating the system, but I'm sure with your training it will be a simple matter. I'll briefly unlock the doors for you. I can remotely operate the elevator that will take you to the lab area, then it's up to you to turn on the device. I'll remotely operate the elevator.
back to the elevator, both of you. Matrix active, we can attempt a resonance reversal. We seem to have become quite an effective team, but everything comes down to this. The rift has become dangerously wide, and it may already be too late. We must act. You've done well, so we're not done yet. You must use the displacement beacon's focus emitter to charge the large crystals on the canyon wall. Once charged, I'll use them to start the resonance reversal. Those crystals will be far more effective than the dampening fields. Follow me. Would you mind opening this door for me? When you start charging the crystals, the alien force will detect it and they'll try to stop you. It's possible you could be dealing with more enemies than you've ever seen. You must charge the crystals as quickly as possible.
We're ready for you to deploy one of the crystals now. Charging first crystal in three, two, one. Beam capacitor is now 80%. Surge. 
Something large is coming through the rift. Gina, Colette, you'll be all right. You were caught for a moment there in a harmonic reflux. It's one of the swirling eddies in the space between two displacement of currents. Although I can't imagine who was creating the other current. But it doesn't matter now. Rest, my friends. We did it. <laughs> <laughs> 